and Muslims regarding your action today with uh, Salman Rushdie trust me you are encouraging us to do more work and you are asking people to be each one of them Salman Rushdie or Christian Prince if you think you can stop us from exposing your stupid prophet you are badly mistaken as you see we don't back down and now actually people more people will read his books the guy is already old 70 something 75 and obviously your God is a potato he cannot even take his life so he needed to take your life and not what that will do now every single person in the world will understand that yes Islam is a disgusting filthy terrorist cult no question few days ago two days actually yesterday we spoke about hate crimes the fact Islam itself is a hate crime as you see why you want to kill this guy because you worship hateful God and your heart is full of hate and because of your hate you cannot take it that somebody is getting your false prophet busted so I say to you the shoe of this man is better than your God What you can do about it even if you die so this book will be very famous forever the queen of england she gave him a title sir now he will become way more famous in england people will invite him more and what 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 you did stupid people if you kill me what you will do you will get my book written did not my book already translated to all languages in the world you will give me the best advertising ever for my work before I go we will die anyway if you think we fear death you are stupid you see people who fear death they will not open their mouth speaking about such a filthy terrorist like Muhammad they will not do that if they are cowards so obviously this guy he is not a coward and if you think you can stop people from laughing at your prophet you are badly mistaken. Your prophet is a stupid, he's a fraud, he's a scumbag, he's a child molester, he's an idiot, he's a liar, he is Satan. What you can do about it? Show me. Do you see how much we are scared? Do you see how we back down? You scared us, buddy. Do we have any question? Anyone have a question? I have one wish for this man. I don't know if he became a Christian or not. I think he's still atheist, right? I have a wish that this guy before he go, not now, I, I, I pray that he will not die, but I hope that he will save himself and he will accept the Lord as his savior. I hope so. He left Islam, that's good. But still he's not saved. I pray that he will accept the Messiah and he will be saved. Uh, no, my friend, uh, nobody have power to kill me. So what if you can? I mean, if if this is, uh, we will die anyway. But the question, you know, you see, people who fear death, they have no life because then he would never be able to do anything. Do you know how many people die every day in the highway? The highway is the biggest killer machine in the world. How many car accidents cause death in USA every day? If you check the numbers, you will see that this is the biggest number of death. It's not even cancer. But people go to the highway. Right? Right? 
your fear is your enemy. Your fear will stop you from enjoying life, from being free. You will become a slave of fear. Never let fear slave slave you. And you know, for us as a Christians, Jesus, he said, whoever believe in me and die will live. So why we will fear death? We are believers. You know, death for us is just a new, a new start, actually. It's just a life. It's not really death. It is a life. A believer who die, he will live. And even if you are an atheist, never let people force you to believe in something you don't believe in it doesn't matter what it is even if it is the Christians because if they force you that is hypocrisy you don't believe but because they force you so you're not a believer anyway so what the point can you pause the hadith for the apple I did, maybe people, they can post it again for you. Go back in the chat and you can see it. Helen, she is saying, I am a former Muslim. Uh, I have learned that he, Muhammad, he have a son who died on his childhood. Who is that son coming from? Well, if you go and read some reference, you will see that Aisha, she keeps saying to him, he don't even look like you. How oh, this guy can be your son? Muhammad, he have no children. And let us say, Muhammad, he had a son and he died. Muslim believe in destiny. Why Allah killed the son of Muhammad? Is that because he had mercy on him? You see, every all Islamic story does not make sense. Who is the one who caused death? The Quran says Allah. Who is the most beloved person to Allah? Muhammad. Why Allah, he caused death to the most beloved person to Allah? You see, when the story of Abraham is stolen from the Old Testament about Abraham being asked to sacrifice his son. How come, and I'm not going to quote the Bible now, how come the God of Muhammad in the Quran, he sent exchange of the sacrifice or sacrifice of Isaac uh, to Abraham? But he will not save the child of Muhammad. Muhammad never had kids. And even the Quran says it clearly that Muhammad never was the father of any of your men, any of your males. Never. Chapter 33, verse number 40. Muhammad never was the father of any of the men or male amongst you. He's not. There's other chapter in the Quran made it even more clear. al kawthar a man, he accused Muhammad that he is cut off. The Muslim, they try to fix this issue. They say cut off from every good thing in this world. In fact, the man is saying that he is after he have no penis. He cannot have kids. It's about having babies. So, as you see, this person, even his enemies, they were putting him down, which is not right. I mean, if a person, he cannot have kids, 
that doesn't make him bad, correct? But this is the trashy bully society of the Middle East. Muhammad was a bully and his cousins and his family, they are bully too. So they bully each other. So, but what is in the book is confirming that Muhammad is cut off. And here you will see that the God of Muhammad cannot fix this issue. So what he promised him, he promised him a river, it's called al Kawthar. What that will do to Muhammad? The guy is talking about he cannot have a children, you promise him a river. What what that is for? Is that going to fix the problem? Any other question? And our friend here, Helen, uh, why you left Islam, Helen? Her name is Helen? Helen, yeah. Why you left Islam, Helen? Do you like to tell us? When you will finish the Quran translation, in order to finish the Quran translation, I have to stop coming here for some time, like three, four months, maybe two months, three months, maybe. So do you, do you want me to stop coming here for three months? Are you guys willing to give me vacation? Let us vote. Who want to give me a vacation for three months where I will not come here at all? Ibrahim is from Mary the Copt, and Mary the Copt is a slave, and she stayed with many people. Even when she, when uh, even they accused in the time of Muhammad that Mary, baby, is from her cousin. Then Muhammad, he sent, I think it was Omar, to check the cousin, and he found that the cousin have no penis because the slaves, they chop their penis. Guys, you don't want to give me a vacation? To finish the Quran translation, man, oh man. Okay, because we are Arab and we believe in vote, I decide to take vacation. <laughs> as long as you don't agree, was Muhammad circumcised? No, never. And you can change any Muslim to show you the reference. Never. And this is one of the irony of the stupidity of this religion. They go and they say to you, Paul, Paul is the one against circumcision. And then you find that their prophet himself never gets circumcision. <clears throat> uh. You left Islam because of polygamy and 72 versions in heaven. Well, you know, for me, I, you know, I look at the polygamy issue. Not enough to prove that Muhammad is a pervert. But it's an additional proof of him trying to, you know, to, uh, uh, to take advantage as an example. You see, if Muhammad, he come with the law, it says you can have four wives. And then you can give the excuses for the four wives thing. But then you will find that Muhammad, he don't go by the law, which he brought. Muhammad, he can have a big number of females and no limit for him. And then you ask yourself, if this guy is coming with religion from God, why this religion does not go for him? You know what I mean? So imagine you made me a sheriff for a town and then I put traffic lights and the red you stop, the green you go, the yellow you wait, then we make, uh, you cannot park here, you cannot, this is here for disabled, but then me, I can park everywhere, I can cross the line, 
for no cause, for no reason, except I am the sheriff. You know what I mean? So, all cult leaders, they share one thing. They want your money, and they want your women. If you remember, one of the privilege of Muhammad. Anyone remember this privilege? Number 16, who remember what number 16 is? Number 16, number 10. The privilege of Muhammad, if his eyes fail into a woman, her husband must divorce her. So the prophet can have her. Isn't this is enough to prove that Muhammad is satanic and he is evil? What kind of a decent man he make that a privilege from his God? This is the book of Al Qurtubi, and as usual, we don't say things without proofs. Al Qurtubi is a Muslim Sunni. This is not Shia. Volume number 14. And this is the page number. And here it says that Muhammad, he have many privilege and they are counting the privilege. What is the privilege number 10? إذا وقع بصره على امرأة وجب على زوجها طلاقها وحل له نكاحها Translation number 10. Here they are counting for you the privilege. All of them, they are about sex, about money. Sex and money. So number 10, if his sight falls on a woman, her husband must divorce her so the prophet can ever not marry her. How would that make Muhammad a prophet to you, anyone? What do you think? Imagine a, a person, he is teaching you decency, supposedly. A person, he is ordering the women to cover themselves, supposedly. Then if his eyes fall into your wife, you must divorce her immediately. So he can if your wife. All cult leaders share one thing or false priest or false Christian priest doesn't matter. There's many of those. The Lord he told us about people who wear clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. What this have to do with God? How that serve God? How that can be about God? So now you are a prophet, you go to visit somebody, you see his wife, the wife, she is so excited, the prophet is coming to visit them, this is a big honor, the husband is so happy to have you, and now you are staring at the wife ass. Excuse my language. And now the wife is yours prophet and this is the link you can check it out i made it short i made the link short let me know if it's working fine and again this is al qurtubi this is not a shia book this is a sunni book Yeah, and Aisha, as Amelia, she said, uh, Aisha, she noticed that Muhammad is a pervert. She said, oh, oh, I see that your Lord, he has to for your sexual, your lost. She saw it. She knew that he is a fraud. Any sexual desire, Allah is ready to fulfill for Muhammad.
I felt jealous from of women who offered themselves to Allah Messenger. Allah, he told him, any woman she can offer herself to you, Prophet, so you can if her. So Aisha, she felt jealous, and she said, Huh, I, th I see that your Lord, it seemed to me that your Lord has to satisfy your desire. Do you see it? And this is Sahih. Aka uh, Pocatin, he's saying, what about fake Bible, which is a change by so-called fathers? As long as you know that there is, was a fake Bible changed by the fathers, that means you have the original Bible, which is not a change, because in order to compare between the one, in order to find that it's a change, then you need to get the original. Can you show me the original which you think the fathers, they change it? Are you there? In the same time, when a Muslim, he says such a stupid statement, are you saying to us that the Bible which sent by Allah, anyone can change it? Hmm. Right? Hello, CP. If I go, if you go to vac uh, vacation, how and who is going to defend us? We Christians, so make, my friend, you do not need my defense. What's wrong with you? Are you weak? If you are a Christian, you are no weak. Why you are weak? Who am I to defend you? Don't don't say those things. So after all the the thousand and thousand of videos and thousand of hours spent here to teach you, still you need me to defend you. So what's wrong with you? Are you going to the gym and your training is useless? So Aka. Can you show me the original Bible which sent by Allah? I cannot debate one V, one V on this hadith because a man can manipulate if you only take about something like this father. Anyone understand what this guy is saying? I'm getting dizzy. Thank God. We have another prophet. Muhammad is making Quran again. Muhammad is making Quran. Allah knows best what he meant. Aka, as long my book is changed by the fathers, why your prophet, he take an oath in it? Hmm? I mean, your prophet must be stupid, huh? To take an oath in a book, it changed. Actually, I'm willing to make Aka an admin here in our chat. If he can show us the verses of a breastfeeding for adult. Because really, I like those verses. It is my hobby. You see, I like guns, I like hunting, and I like breastfeeding. Excuse me, I have to say a truth. I never heard of a God. He make verses ordering women to give their breast to a strange man. And supposedly, <clears throat> that will fix a problem. Hey Muslims, any one of you would like to send his wife to me to fix my problem? I have a problem. Any help? 
even Aisha, you see the Muslim book, thanks to Allah, is not corrupted, but we cannot find those verses. The Quran is totally preserved, brother, totally. And they claim that the goat ate it. This is a lie. Obviously, the one who ate those verses is the Muhammadan. Uh, what is the top three hadith books for a Shia? Uh, you know, you can say like Al Kafi. There is a, like actually there is a, a big list, but maybe Al Kafi is the most uh, uh, most important book for the Shia. The rest is like is the same, but Al Kafi is the top. And the band in the sect too, because Muslim sect uh, Shia sect is not one. Any Muslim is proud about his prophet and his God who is teaching women to give their boobs. Honestly, I have a problem. I'm thirsty. And the bottle in front of me is almost empty. I will drink the last drop on it here. Yeah, there's more. Imagine if Allah He can send us a beautiful female and she have big boobs and we suckle each time. If you are going to lie about Allah, why you don't kiss my shoe? You can say what you want about my God, but my God never wore diaper like yours. Okay. It is see if your God wear diaper or not. I want you, Mansoor, in front of everybody to accept that challenge and I will show you your God wearing a diaper. Big one. Is that fair, guys? In front of everybody. Actually, your God diaper is a big huge diver collecting his ejaculation and this diver will explode in the day of judgment and then the ejaculation of your God will burst out coming from under his chair do you want to challenge me and now here we need to ask ourselves why the ejaculation of Allah is coming from his ass, not from a penis. Simply, Allah don't have a penis, Muslim, they say. Let us go and see if we can find some reference. I'm typing in Arabic while I'm searching in English. Hold on. <clears throat> oh boy. Is that the one? Okay. Let us see this one here. I'm going to find the video actually, but I found my video. There's no sound. Okay, no let us see here. Strong people, strong suggestion. Pay attention. Just from the language of the Quran and just from the context of the Quran, we give it the presumption, but not the certainty. <laughs> so that's the strong inkling, strong suggestion Jesus is coming in the Quran. It's not actually anywhere in the Quran, but khair. Hey, just eat it. Come on. You see, just to. I'm just trying actually I wish I can find the original video 
So we can play just the video without my comment. Yes, the Quran seems to have a very strong indication that uh, Isa is coming. However, it is not definitive and it is not conclusive in and of itself. Abyss hello. Abyss hello. Strong. <laughs> strong people, strong suggestion. Pay attention. Just from the language of the Quran. And Let us move a little bit so we can laugh. And let us see the ejaculation of Allah. You see? Let us move here. Let us move. Let us move. Let us move. Where is the story? Here, here, here. Ibn Mas'ud. Ibn Mas'ud. First of all, Ibn Mas'ud begins by saying that the Christians claim Jesus will come back. You okay. see this belief creeping in. But anyway, check this out. Hmm. More interesting. You know, this guy, by the way, is a mentally ill. I mean, Ibn Mas'ud, he said that the Christian they claim, but the Hadith says the Prophet said the Messiah will come, and even he told them where he will come back. He told them even the location. But anyway, just for a laugh, continue. Interesting. Check this out. I want to bring your attention. Elaborate detail on the end of time. What's going to then happen is, look at all of this. What will, he goes through in, you know, details. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. A wind is going to come. Ya'juj, Ma'juj are going to come. People are going to die. All this stuff. But then what's going to happen after this utter destruction? Now, this is the hadith. He was saying, Yahya uh, 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 Yasir Qadi, that we can't question with reason put together too many of the sahaba have narrated it and therefore uh predominant you know sunni methodology basically is that mutawatir ahadith uh, are certain you feed al qata it's not vanni it's not something that is subjective it is something that is certain the notion of rejecting mutawatir ahadith simply because it is not rational Right? That's to me the fundamental uh, difference between this strand of Islam versus the bulk of Ahlul Sunnah or the bulk of Sunni Islam. So now check this out. What does the Hadith say at the end? When there's utter destruction, how will this be brought back? Then Allah will say... Now, <laughs> I have to translate this, so brace yourselves, people. Allah will send there's a fluid from beneath the arsh. Where is the guy? The guy who was here about his God, Mansur. There's a fluid will come from the diver of your God, Allah. Listen carefully. Which will ejaculate like the sperm of men. <laughs> <laughs> I. I'm, whoa, people, let me repeat, look at it for yourselves. Thumma you bring your attention. Elaborate detail on the end of time. What's going to then happen is, look at all of this. What will, he goes through in, you know, details. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. A wind is going to come. Ya'juj, Ma'juj are going to come. People are going to die. All this stuff. But then what's going to happen after this utter destruction? Now, this is the hadith. He was saying, Yahya uh, 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 Yasir Qadi, that we can't question with reason. Put together, too many of the Sahaba have narrated it. And therefore, uh, predominant you know, Sunni methodology basically is that mutawatir ahadith. Uh, are certain you feel the it's not vanni it's not something that is subjective it is something that is certain the notion of rejecting mutawatir ahadith simply because it is not rational right that's to me the fundamental uh difference between this strand of islam versus the bulk of ahl sunnah or the bulk of sunni islam so now check this out what does the hadith say at the end when there's utter destruction, how will this be brought back? Then Allah will send. Now, <laughs> I have to translate this, so brace yourselves, people. Allah will send. There's a fluid from beneath the arsh which will ejaculate like the sperm of men. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'm whoa, people. Uh, what? 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 And what, what is the? And then later he will put an umbrella. That's enough. So when Mansur he speak about his God, looked like Mansur he do not know that his God he sit in the top of a rooster. He do not know that his God ejaculate. He do not know that his God have an empty inside. He do not know anything about his God. So as long you are saying your God don't wear a diaper, are you saying your God Allah is naked? Because he have a body. In fact, the Quran says your God Allah is a female and he wear a veil. Is that your Quran saying that? Hmm? Chapter 45, verse number 51. So when you say your God is not wearing clothing, you are a liar. And not only he wearing clothing, he is wearing a veil of women. Are you there? Who is a Muslim? He have a ch challenge for me. Listen, I am here for three years and I am already tired. So this is your this is the best time for you to win if you challenge me. Any Muhammad? I, I just told you I'm very tired now. This is the, this is why I said I wish Allah would send me a woman to do breastfeeding for me. Mashallah. When Muslim tell you that they are only one God in Islam, what you can tell them in return? For my friend, if somebody he have one God or ten God, that will not make you have a privilege. Who cares if it's one God or 10 or 70? The question is, you have one God, but he's an idiot. He's a stupid. I mean, he's one God, but he thinks the sun set in muddy water. And women have a semen coming from the ribs, and men have a semen coming from the backbone. And uh, 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 hail coming from mountains in heaven, from the sky. Uh, and I mean, it's endless. So a Muslim, he believe he's one, he have one God. So. What that will do? I mean, what what a bit, how how that work? Same time, the Quran says obviously that Allah cannot be one. Why? Because Allah He says, if He wanted to take a partner, you know, we will take it from ourselves if we are going to do so. If we want to take a partner, a wife, to have sex with, we are going to take that partner. From ourself so if Allah is one how he will marry one from his self I'm using the word marriage not to F now because I want to be polite do you see it CP would it be an honor for a man to kiss the side of the Prophet Billy I don't know about that. I think uh, look like it's more honorable if you go down in that area. You know what I mean? So if it's an honor for a man to kiss the side of the belly of a prophet, why did not go to his balls? I think this is more honorable. <laughs> Do you agree with me? Look like the location is it important to be down. I mean, we have to honor the Prophet, don't we? So what we do? We kiss down, keep going. The more down you go, the more honorable you are. You know what I'm saying? You know the thing. I hope I did answer you. Anything else? I 
I never heard of somebody honoring by somebody by killing the side of his belly or down his belly. Not even Billy Jones. Any Mohammedan? Can we talk about womb that is chained to Allah throne? Uh, we can talk about anything. Uh, but what do you want to talk about? I mean, what exactly you want to want to say? There's many stories about those things, but every Muslim will give you a different answer. Uh, Aisha, she said, let me show you the hadith you are talking about. Aisha, she said, the Messenger of Allah said, the bond of relationship is suspending from the throne. And he says, who keep good relation with me, Allah will keep connection with him. Uh, you see here the Muslim in translation, they changed the word Rahim to something else, became relation. That's why I said to you, Muslim, they will play games with it. The word Rahim, they translate as a, a relation, not as word mean uh, womb. So you look, the tie of the kinship, that's what you are talking about, the Muslim, they switch it upside down, so the word Rahim is not exist no more. This is why always, uh, Muslim translation, uh, 90, maybe 97, 98% is a deception. And if there is a true translation, it uh, I believe it's a mistake. I mean, it's a, it is. I cannot say an honest mistake. I I can say, it's a mistake of a liar who uh, forgot to lie here. You know. Yeah. So, they will they will find a you know find a solution for it. Anything else? <clears throat> Can you tell us what happened to Amina until her death? Uh, did she even see Muhammad before her death? You see, even the Muslim didn't have any any true stories about Muhammad. The books of they called like the biography of Muhammad. It's a mix of crazy stuff. Like as an example, in the same stories, they say that when the mother of Muhammad, she gave birth to him, a light came from her vagina, went all the way to the palaces of Damascus. Now, if you ask yourself, who in the world want to believe such a garbage? That is silly and this stupid. What vagina and what light? You know, yeah, silly. But when you are silly, you can say as you wish. You can make uh, up stories. No. Somebody says we do not hate Islam. I don't agree. Islam is a is a religion. Everyone should go against. It's satanic. So we hate Satan. Therefore, we hate Islam. But we don't hate Muslims. Islam is a religion. We hate the religion of the devil. But we don't hate Muslims. Do we have any Abdul have a courage or knowledge to stand up? Who is a Muslim is willing to call me and give me one single proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God? Just one. Anyone?
Can you do how Allah and his angels pray in Arabic? I don't know what they mean, can you do? Are you saying, can you answer? Well, he pray. How he pray? He pray. You know, it's a stupid statement anyway from Muhammad. Because by doing that, Muhammad, he made himself equal to God. And actually, he is more important than God. For simply angels, believers, and God, all they are praying on Muhammad. So who is more important? The whole universe now busy in one person. And this is telling you that Muhammad is satanic. He is Satan and he is trying to make everybody worship him. Otherwise, I challenge an emotion to tell me why Muhammad saying that angels, Allah and believers, all of them, they are doing salah on him. Who is he? That is very weird. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? You just let me know because my Skype is not open. If you are a Muhammadan, and especially if you are a Sheikh, in the other day we were expecting Sheikhs from Turkey, from the Hamzat movement, Muhammad Fathullah Golan, the guy who is the founder of the organization called Terrorist Organization against Erdogan. His Sheikhs did back down and they ran away with no mercy. Any Muslim want to call us so you can convert as many Christians as you wish? Who is the oil and the olive? Who is the oil and the olive mentioned there? What do you mean who is? I'm not sure what you mean. What who? <clears throat> well, uh, spooky. I tried this uh, escort, Discord, but I found it like a bathroom. People they enter, you don't know who's talking, I don't know how to use it. You hear voices coming from everywhere. It's like a bathroom, literally. I don't want that. I want one person to speak at the time and I can control it. This Discord is really messed up. Any Muslim would like to join us? Who is a Muslim is willing to give us one, just one, proof that Muhammad is a prophet. Anyone? Any proof you want. You see, you, you choose the proof. I'm not going to ask you answer this and answer that. You choose it. Too many cracks? Well, you cannot have more cracks than the one in the head of Muhammad. Any Muslim? Yeah, you know, I'm not against the movement of the Turkish scholars. Actually, I like their movement. If I live in Turkey, actually, I will join it. My favorite movement, it was Yahya, Harun Yahya movement. Man, I love his movement. Actually, always when I see his movement, I say to myself, why I'm not lucky? I mean, why? Where is my movement? You open an Islamic Dawah TV. 
You bring all those women, man. Look at my admins. Look at them. Look at you, Matt. He have a yeah. He he have a he have a beard of Santa Claus. This is my admins. Look at the the admins. Look at the admins of Yehia Harun Yehia. I mean, I'm telling you, life is not fair. What's wrong with this admin? I want to have an admin like this. Just one, one, just for like two minutes, three minutes. This is Dawah. This is the true Dawah team. Imagine how many people will join us immediately. That's... Oh. Maşallah, maşallah, maşallah. Aşkım ruhum hocamla sohbetimize devam ediyoruz inşallah. Buyurun hocam. Maşallah, maşallah, maşallah. Yanağında. Oops. Hepsi birbirine şeker bunlar. Yani acayip tatlılar. Aman Rabbi aman. Yanağı yakışıklısı hocamızın güzel sohbetine başlıyoruz inşallah. Maşallah. Hepsi birbirine bu ya. Evet, maşallah. The Kino is saying to himself, is that one of my admin too? Acayip tatlı. Maşallah, maşallah. Çok çok şık olmuşsunuz hocam. Çok çok. Ve yine çok yakışıklısınız. Yani ne varmış ki de? Ha. Çok yaman. Yakışıklı sevgilime sohbetine başlıyoruz. Evet. Şahanesiniz maşallah. Maşallah. Bir olağanüstülük var. Evet. Var. Kendi müthiş bir olağanüstülük var maşallah. Dünyada en çok sevdiğim, en çok güvendiğim güzel aşkımla yayınımıza devam ediyoruz inşallah. Hoş geldiniz hocam. Hoş bulduk. Do you see guys? I mean, is, is that even, I mean, this is not right. Look what's happening to me. Unbelievable. I mean, enough is enough. Oh, mashallah, 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 mashallah. How many times you say, you know, if I have those admins, I will say mashallah in two, every two seconds. You know? I mean, if they change their hair color, make it black, even will be, I will say mashallah more. Man, man, man. Mashallah, mashallah. Uh -oh. Look at this one here. I'm just trying to find something is it suitable for your age, guys. Because most of you are not fit for this program. Oh boy, look at this. Amar Rabbi Amar. Amar Rabbi. I cannot put this in the screen. Uh, this one is okay. Oh boy, this is, this is a really religious program. And we have to face it. That will bring a lot of believers. Oh boy. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. That's really something. Aman Rabbi, Aman. Oh boy. Okay. You got the point there, by the way. I mean, this is, this is a chapter two. Those legs mean verse number two. Okay. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. And this is, by the way, this is the founder of the movement, Quran and Science. He is the first one who come with Quran and Science. If you don't believe me, I can show you the proof. Hold on. MashaAllah. Mashallah. What is the name of this guy, Useless? Uh, I forgot his name. <clears throat> huh. 
This is Yusuf estate. Brother. Of Harun Yahya. It was by a strange coincidence. A very strange thing had happened. Mm -hmm. Someone had given me this book that had the head or skeleton, a skull, mm -hmm. on this book. And I thought, this is a strange looking book. Mm -hmm. And I opened it and I began to read and I thought, oh my gosh, this is finally what we're getting, high class quality mm -hmm. material for Dawa. Something I've been dreaming about ever since I made Shahada. When I entered Islam, we didn't have such a thing. Mm -hmm. And then, when I saw this book, I said, I have got to take this book with me to Columbus, Ohio, because I'm going for a speech today, and I'll take this book. Oh, and it's on my subject, which is about evolution versus creation. Oh, this. <laughs> my brother, do you see, you want to see the evolution? This is evolution. Those women, they have lips surgery, breast surgery. I mean, this is the true evolution. If this is not evolution, what is evolution? Look at this. This is evolution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the founder of Islam and science. Oh boy, that's a lot of evolution. We have to admit. I mean, look at the movement, brother. Look at the movement. It is it is like angels. Those are angels from, those are the whore. Those are the whore. Hmm. Look at me, sitting here, shouting, screaming, and look what this guy is doing. I mean, I mean. Somebody call him. Do he, need, like, do he need a partner in the work? I mean, aren't you tired? You want to take vacation, maybe? Like, you know, one week for you, one week for me. <laughs> and those Christians don't believe in evolution. Look at this evolution. Look what happened. Oh, that's that's uh, that's a good and look. She cannot take her eyes from him. You cannot. I mean, you cannot do that. Put yourself in her shoes, brother. You know, and what he have in his hand that is evolution by itself. Aman Rabbi, Aman. Aman Rabbi, Aman. Evolution time. Right. If, 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 look at this one, look at this evolution. What he is doing with her now, with this evolution here. No, 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 I'm not going to show this one. This one is too much. Most of you is under the age. Oh boy. No, 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 not this one. What the heck is that? If, 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 if. Man, oh man. Leave it, leave it. Uh, this one is better. Ah, this one is an evolution. This was, we can play this one. Brother, Islamic Dawa TV, live from Turkey. Aman Rabbi, Aman. What take vacation? I just accepted contract to work in Turkey. Are you kidding me? I'm sick of going to Walmart and see all these scary faces there. It's time to see something. So I decided to do da'wah in Turkey. I want to invite people to Allah. Peace be upon him in Turkey. And guys, I'm going to send you videos from there. All right? Me, by, by the way, she is working hard. I mean, we have, we have to make it clear. That's a lot of work. That's, and she has to keep looking at him too. I mean, she can't move her eyes. And the skirt is not even one inch. Look at the women she is sitting in the in the couch. And this is Islamic Dawah TV, and the Muslims are speaking great about Harunia here. I mean, this guy, this guy. I mean, with with the help of those assistants, you can study the Quran deeply. Just think about it. Yeah, yeah. Your hands up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she don't even move. And what she have in her leg? She have the map of uh, of uh, the, the treasure of Allah. Look, hold on, hold on. They didn't let me go back. I just discovered something. I'm going to take a screenshot and try to find the treasure. She have a map in her shoulder. And she have a map in her leg. 
But now don't think I'm zooming in for, you know, the pervert reason. Shame on you. We are trying just to find the map. This is where the hidden Quran is. What the heck is that? This girl, she was cleaning the chimney before she go to dance. What is this? What the heck is that, man? I think this is a chimney girl. No. I'm telling you. It's a chimney. And look, you know, just to be to be honest here, not all of them they wear a short skirt. Look at this girl here. Hold on. See? Very, very conservative society. Turkey, very Islamic uh, country. You know? And Erdogan, brother. Erdogan is a very, very perfect Muslim. Yeah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. And you know, the, the funny is that everyone in this program is women. Yeah, actually, I think when he was, when he had those women, he always was reciting the chapter of the women chapter number four you know this is a tattoo really i don't know i thought this is a carbon from the burning chimney i don't know this is a two really this is how the two look like is that why they call it tat and two? Oh, look at this this woman she is insisting to cover her face Look, 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 look. Yeah, learn how to dance when you are sitting. Learn how to move your shoulders. Everybody is happy. Allah make Allah make you happy when you are a Muslim. Exactly. Oh, there's guys here. Now they are playing with a drum. Oh, here we go. All right, it's getting better. Oh, look at this, mashallah, mashallah. Look at the burqa. She's conservative. She is really conservative. You know, a lot of conservative there. <laughs> she went down. Okay, uh, don't go down again. That's too much. Let us see. Uh, next. The whole video is about her. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Let's change the topic. Change the topic. Let's go to the Quran. <laughs> Where is the air condition? There, turn the air condition on. Aman, Rabbi, Aman. This is Islamic Dawah TV, and all Muslims in, 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 in the Middle East, they watch it. This is number one. You know, in the Middle East, there are certain TV stations everybody have to have, and this is one of them. <clears throat> Dahman Dahman. Well, Dahman Dahman is not from the Quran. Dahman Dahman is from the Hadith. Dahman, Dahman. Dahman present like when a man is having sex, he push so hard. You know, we don't want to go more in details. You know the thing. You know? Yeah. But however, uh, this is explanation for the Quran when I speak about Dahman Dahman. So it is not the Quran saying that, but the Quran says that the people of the heaven, they will be busy in the heaven. Busy doing what? If in women. Let us go to the Quran. chapter 36 verse number 55 and 56 so behold the people of the paradise today they, they should be busy you see here it says and they will have joy and uh, they will do that's false translation it says here they will be busy and busy doing what 
they will be busy doing dahman dahman and uh, if you go to tafsir ibn qayyim uh, it says he explained uh, how uh, uh, how the man he if his those women uh, and how he do it and even he caught a hadith from al bukhari let me see if i can find you know uh, the hadith in english that every man in the heaven of Allah, he will do, which means the effort, 100 women a day. I don't know why they are so weak. I cannot find it here. Uh, we can find it in different places. Hold on. Let us find it. I will find it in Arabic now, and we have to use Google Translation. Okay, this is Tafsir Adurul Manthur, volume number one, page number 211. And here it speaks about uh, all descriptions, actually. Actually, let me do this. I will pause this link for you guys, and you can use Google Translation because there's tons of hadith. All of them, they are about effing women and what kind of women they will be in this heaven. Let me pause the link for you so you can save me from the same headache. All right. So when Muhammad, he says, Dahman, Dahman, he described specifically how the physical action happened. You will not if normally, you will if so hard. And that will make every Muslim rejoice, brother. He says, Fakihun qal fifty dadil akbar. Akbar, sorry. They will be busy ifing and opening the humans of the women. Um, okay here we go this is the official government website of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia Tafsir al-Tawari this is verse number 55 all right from chapter 36 uh, it says here they will be busy enjoying their time doing what exactly if you go down here uh, let us see let us go and search it right away to save time here we go call if they will be ifing the virgins opening the skin of their vagina and this is here again if you go to number 53520 it says they will be ifing the virgins opening their skin the skin of their vagina etc let me pause the link for you and you can, we can use Google Translation right away here. And then we search for the number. Okay. It says, here we go. But translation is not really coming correctly. They will be busy with the fruits. The fruit is the women. He says they will be, if in the version, they will open their vagina. All right. The version break free. <laughs> Google translation is funny. So they will break the, the skin of the vaginas of those versions. This is what they will be busy doing. All right, let me give you the link. And this is again Tafsir al Qurtubi, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Metaphor. So if in a 100 women is metaphor, okay. 
That's a good thing. If your wife, she find you with somebody one day and you are a cheater, cheating like Muhammad, because you have zero ethic, tell her it was a metaphor cheating. Well, we're having metaphor sex. If she said to you how that will happen, he says, read the Quran. Those versions I was if in them metaphorically. It's a metaphor. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it obvious? It's a metaphor. Yeah. And what what do you mean by their vagina? It's a metaphor vagina. Hmm. And what do you mean the skin inside their vagina? It's a metaphor the skin inside the vagina. But the problem. Is it obvious? No. Yeah. So when the Quran speak, describing the vagina inside, a Muslim, he can say to you, it's a metaphor, brother. It's obvious. Metaphor for what? The cave, the cave, brother, the cave, the story of the cave. It says here they will bleed. Yes, the cave bleed too. You did not hear the story of the cave in India bleed? You know, because there is a, there is a lot of paths inside. They take their birds inside and they slaughter them. Hmm? And look at the translation here. Look at the translation. You see, you change the translator, you will find yourself you are in different galaxy. Just to change the translator. Look, look, look. I just changed the translator. Look what, what happened. We're in both of those medians. Restrain their guns upon their husband, whom no man nor genie yet Muthahun has opened their hands with sexual intercourse. Brother? Sexual intercourse here is metaphor. You know what? I'm thinking to invite you all to have metaphor lunch with me. All of you, the 800, 900 people. How's that? That would be fantastic. I pay nothing. I spend nothing. I wash no dishes. It's a metaphor lunch. Even though it's almost dinner now. Metaphor. I understand, you know, duct tape. Uh, who want to work as my secretary and I will pay you metaphor salary? Let us see who is going to uh, uh, accept the job. You work as my secretary, okay? Uh, and you get metaphorical salary with metaphorical health insurance with metaphorical uh, uh, gas stamp with metaphorical transportation you know uh, cost and expenses and with a metaphorical vacation i mean we have to agree this is the best job ever you can get you know because at the end of the year, you pay nothing for the, uh, the tax government, you know, because it was a metaphorical tax too. They say to you, where is your income? You say it was metaphorical salary. Get them busted. Hey, Sarah, how are you? You want to work as a metaphorical uh, secretary? Okay, I feel sorry for you because I will give you a metaphorical chair, a metaphorical table. <laughs> you will spend the whole day standing up. Uh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I wish one of you is here to make me coffee. I need coffee. I really, I need to coffee to drink now. You see, I, I drink coffee afternoon and already it's night time. And I did not get my, I, I was I was like, uh, uh, almost like trying to squeeze this little cup of coffee in front of me and there's nothing left. Is it okay guys if I go and make coffee? Huh? Which one you prefer? I hang up and go or make coffee and come back? What do you think? This is a this is a real coffee, not metaphorical coffee.
see i don't drink i don't like i'm not uh, i don't drink alcohol i mean sometimes i drink like beer once maybe once every few months maybe sometime doesn't matter if in the whole year i do not drink but coffee it's a must for me i love coffee uh hang up and sleep i just said i want to go and drink coffee you say to me hang up and sleep okay you know what you go hang up and have metaphorical sleep okay give me a minute you know actually i have i have a machine it make coffee i i don't uh you know we don't drink this american coffee which is useless i mean american coffee is just water it's just dark water the coffee i drink is the greek style but uh you know i i, I found a machine which is really good instead of waiting for the coffee to boil and watch it because the coffee will come up and you know this machine is perfect will make coffee without even being there let me just put the water and the coffee and i will be back i will be back metaphorically oh hold on so because i know that you guys you might be bored i will put something for you in the screen which will make you happy Oh, not this guy. What the heck is this? They will leave now. Yeah, here. That will make more people join our chat now. Let us watch the number of the viewers. Now it is 8.06. After we put this in the screen, how many they will join during the time of making coffee? Let us see.
All right, we are back. Oh, the number dropped actually. We lost a hundred people. <laughs> Look like the scenery did not work. <laughs> Let us change it, man. Where people go? It did not work. I thought that would bring me. Oof. Yeah, not too many Muslims. That's why I did not. Uh, if the Muslim they see this, trust me, we will have like 10,000 now. But not too many Muslims around. Uh, let's see. So do we have any Muslim? Let us see. Yeah, let us have something really beautiful. Actually, you know what? I have a lot of videos I took myself in my library. I mean, in my uh, saved videos. Maybe I should add them to my uh, video so when I want to take a break, I can let one of them play and you guys just sit and watch and enjoy. Uh, I did not play, 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 huh? That's why they left. Yeah, I know. <coughs> Uh, do we have anyone? Any Muslim? Let me open my Skype, you know, and see if we can get anybody. Let us give it a chance. Maybe. Maybe not. <coughs> and my coffee is ready. Let us taste it. Hmm. Look, who's who's? Let's guess who called me, and it's a missed call from Safaraz. Safaraz is still when I uh, call me. You want me to talk to Safaraz, guys? But he called me five hours ago. I think he's asleep now. What, what the time now is in England? I think the guy is asleep now, right? <clears throat> Yeah, I think it's not time. It's a good time to call him. CP, the only is important thing, CP. Why you are asking those things, CP? There's important things, CP. I mean, what the idiot, this guy? <laughs> it's important thing, CP. Hey, by the way, guys, I just found where, where Zulkarnain, he built the dam. It was here. I just noticed that. And this boat is Gog and Mago coming from it. Look. I just found this picture by mistake. Gog and Magog. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> okay, no, we will take calls from Christians if people want to call. As long as there is no Muslims, what we can do. Just to give them a chance to share with us. If there is a Christian, they would like to call us. You can call if you want. Safaraz so is off a grid. I think the heaven of Allah is off a grid too. You see, the Quran says that they will be restrained in their tents <laughs> for eternity. <laughs> so you will live off a grid, busy just having sex in your tent. All of this is inside the tent. Hmm. You know, Muhammad, as a Bedouin man, still his heaven is full of tents. You do not know better. We have a Muslim trying to call us. Muhammad, his name is Muhammad Ali. Let us see Muhammad Ali. <laughs> uh, 
Hello? Are you okay? Are you okay, Abdul? Yeah, son of Muta. Nobody heard you anyway. <coughs> so all the sounds you made of a donkey is gone with the wind. Okay. Do we have any Muslim? You see, Muslim, this is the good thing about my system. Your voice will not go through unless I allow it. So you can call me. I know where you are. Eh, we laugh. Hmm. Uh, there's a hadith actually Muhammad he mentioned I don't know if I can find it in English but uh, let us see Which is a weird. Uh, I don't think I will find it in English. Let us see something different. Mm hmm. Yeah, if we look at this hadith as an example, I think this one we can find it uh, in the English website. Let's find this one. This is what will a Muslim supposedly will have in the heaven. Uh, Muhammad he said that in the paradise. It, there would be a tent made of a single hollowed pearl, the breadth of which would be 60 miles from all sides. And here is the question, I don't know if somebody can help. There was, when the first time the word mile was used? Anyone can help? When the first time the word mile was came, came to existence. Was it exist in in the time of Muhammad? Because obviously people they know what this mile. If this is what he said, right? When he says sixty mile, well, that means people they knew what mile is. When the first time the, the 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 this kind of measurement is used, maybe Prophet Google can help you. So you know, like in the heaven of Allah, obviously you will be of of a grid. And look how big the tent. Sixteen mile. And actually it's a proof again that Muhammad is a fraud because in different place he said that the, the tent of a Muslim is from uh, Mecca all the way to Ajabia, which is supposedly in Damascus. First time is in 19, uh, 15, 900, 93, sorry. So if, the, if it's a 15th century, then how this word is exists in the Hadith? I don't know, people are giving different numbers.
Any Mohammedan here? I want to get that tent. The mile measurement first introduced in 1593 during the, re the region of the Queen Elizabeth. Okay, then this hadith here is a fabrication. Right? And actually, the same word in Arabic is the same word in English, mile. You see, this is the same Arabic word, is the same as English. When you read it, it says Setun a meal, and Setun is a word mean, 60, and meal is mile. See it? Any Mohammedan? Is it really possible that this thing is added long after, I mean, 15 centuries after that? I don't know. Any Mohammedan is here. Nobody want to call us, no Mohammedan, no Christians. We better maybe take a hike and go drink my coffee outside and the mosquitoes will eat me alive. You know, the time when it is like, uh, like around eight, eight something, this is when the mosquitoes, they are really hungry, like early morning and you know, the sun uh, set time, you know, the summer the sunset uh, get late. So stay really late. Yeah, it's weird that the tent is not a green because everything in heaven supposedly is a green, but this is from pearl and it is hollow from inside. Uh, and it's uh, 60 miles. But remember, 60 mile is not big because if your wife, she will be, her ass alone is one mile. So I don't know how he can even have them inside. If the ass alone, if the man will be 90 mile tall. Do you often hiking? Well, since I lost my Muslim wives, which she have like one mile ass, I don't have a place to hike for now. Otherwise, I used to hike always over her ass, and it was really tough mission because it's so smooth, very hard to, to to you know to grab anything. But thanks to the hair in her ass, I was able to accomplish the mission. But it's very hard. You know, you grab the hair, and then you can go and do it. Otherwise, the skin itself is very hard. It was round, big, and beautiful. Mashallah. Uh, let's see here.
I wish you guys would speak Arabic, you will die laughing. The description of the this tent, which is you see in the hadith here, it is 60 mile long, as you know how long it is, but the height of it is 100 kilometer going up in the sky. Let us see here. If you're reading me here, translation to English, the explanation of the hadith about the believer they will have a tent. which is made from single hollow pearl. He said, Ibn Mansur told us from blah, 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 okay. Uh, he said, uh, the believers in the paradise will have a tent of a single hollow pearl. And then he said, uh, okay. So the length of the, uh, of the tent in the sky is 60 miles. Uh, this is not the case if you find a tent in this world, which means you cannot find it. And uh, here it's really very bad translation. It should say 100 kilometers high. Translation is coming wrong. Yeah, the translation is coming wrong. So it is 60 mile wide and 100 mile, 100 kilometers. It's funny that the, the, the tent is 60 mile and the height is 100 kilometer. <laughs> ah, welcome to Islam, my friend. Uh, anyway, you see, if you go to the Tafsir, you will find, if you have my book, Six in Allah, I'm not sure which page you will find that the man in the heaven he will be 90 mile tall 90 mile tall this is the book Ad-Dur al-Manthur fi tafsir by the Imam al-Suyuti and this is a chapter 2 verse number 25 and then if we go here, you will see it says from Saeed ibn Jubayr uh, he said that the, the man will be 90 mile tall and the woman she will be 30 mile tall. Uh, and each time he if her the orgasm will go inside her for 70 years enjoying the orgasm. Let us translate this one. Let me first uh, post the link for you before we use the Google translation. You see there's numbers, Muhammad, he's stuck with them. So now the women, she will have, the man, he have orgasm. And the orgasm inside her from the man, she will enjoy it for 70 years, brother. I mean, that is something, isn't it? There's numbers, Muhammad, he stuck with them, 70, 40, you know. So if we use Google Translation, translate to English, remember you have to use uh, Google Browser in order to do so. After you do that, search for the word 90. It's not showing. Mile. Here we go. So, it says here from the authority of Saeed ibn Juraj, from, 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 it says that the, 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 the height, the, long, the tall, the man will be tall of 90 mile in paradise and the women will be 30 mile. So how the tent is 60 mile and the man is going to be 90 mile?
Oh, you're with me? How the man is 90 mile and the tent where he will have sex with a lot of women is 90 mile and each woman alone is 30 mile. And you know, imagine how short the woman is. I mean, you are 90 mile and the woman, she is not even to your knee. You know what I mean? And now what the Muslim, they will say, he's lying. I mean, we are, we are posting for you. This is their Islamic website. This is their tafsir. And this is from the Hadith. And all of them, they share it. And then, you know, the, and Muhammad, he told them that the women, she will not harm her husband there. Oof, oof, oof. That's deep. She will not, brother? Yes, she will not, brother, harm her husband. Because Muslims, they suffer a lot from their women. They are not good. For them at least so here it says women does not harm her husband in this world except his wife from the among the whore al -ain, will say me Allah curse you me Allah kill you he is just a visitor there <laughs> so the whore the virgins in the heaven when they are watching over you from far distance and when your wife in this earth because she is very annoying your wife in this earth they are not like them so when the wife in this earth she fight with her husband the wives in the heaven they scream from heaven why you are fighting with him shame on you may Allah screw you may Allah kill you he is just a visitor there he is coming for us leave him alone leave him alone see what that those all is true stories. And those suicide bombers, they are seeking this, you know. This is what Islam is about. If you are really here seeking, you know, to learn, I advise you to, to, to save those reference. And in the, in like in your bookmark, even if they are in Arabic, put your own title in your language so later when you open them you can find what you are looking for so like now i just say to you a man will be 90 mile in heaven the women she will be 30 mile you might later text me or say hey where we can find the reference don't do that to me i just give you the reference uh alika maybe answer my question in the comment I don't know what's your question, my friend. I mean, what is the joy of having a woman? She is 30 mile. Why? I mean, what, what? This is the size of a child compared to your size. She is one to third of you. Correct? Very, very small child, actually, because that means this, this woman, she is not even to your knee, literally. She is one to three of your body size. You are 16 miles taller. So to make it simple, imagine your wife is 30 centimeter and you are 90 centimeter. You can go measure that and then you will see what we are talking about. And how such a man, he will be able to have sex with such a small you know, creature. We don't want to go in details, but the man, if, if the man he is 90 miles tall, how big his penis will be? 20 miles? One mile, two miles. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, if a man is 30 foot man, 
No, not 15. Oh, 30 to 15. 30 foot man, the women, she will be one to third. How that make it 15? That is half. Okay, so you are saying the word mile was used by the time of the Euro, yeah, sorry, the time of the Roman? Mm. Well, you know, um, I'm not an historian, so. How many scholars share this opinion? Here we go. Ahmed now he is asking how many scholars. You tell me. If, uh, if the scholars don't share this opinion, why it is in your opinion? <laughs> And this is not a scholar. This is a, this is a companion of your prophet. What scholar? Scholar. The Muslims always they will try to find a solution for anything. Sound embarrassment. So now, how many they share this opinion? The question is why it is there. And if it's wrong, or if it's false, if you don't accept it, why you teach it? What's wrong with people? Is it right or not? Um. As an example, Muhammad, he said, that in the heaven, Allah will give you a bracelet. <clears throat> Allah will give you a bracelet. And if you take your bracelet in your hand, the light from the bracelet, which is made from gold, will cover, will blind the light of the sun. Let us see if we can find this hadith in English. Here we go, we found it. And now you will say to me how many... The Prophet said... Uh, he is describing how the heaven looked like. So he say as little as a fingernail, little tiny, you know, part of finger, became an appearance in the heaven of Allah. It would have beautified all the far corners of the heaven and the earth. And if a man among the people of paradise were to appear and his bracelet, bracelets were to become appearance, which means he show it, it would have blotted out the light of the sun. Do you see it? This is just from bracelet in your hand. My friend Ahmad, you are here speaking to someone he know all the garbage of Islam. You never heard of it because you are, you know, here you will learn. Stay. Is that correct, guys? Isn't it true that here you hear things always you never heard before? Why? Because I know. And because you do not know. As simple as that. Is that my fault? So don't tell me I never heard this before. I'm showing the reference in front of you on screen. I'm posting the link for you, Islamic links. So when you say to me, I never heard this before, it's not my fault that I am a person who knows and you are ignorant. And here you see how Muhammad is exaggerating with the stupidity. So this little tiny bracelet will cover the light of the sun, but the light of the sun can burn you. So how you can put in your hand something like this, have so much power, and you yourself, you are not blinded. It's just exaggeration of stupidity. And look, he just said, if a finger male of what in where in paradise become apparent, then it's going to beautify it all the far corners of the heaven and the earth. How you can beautify heaven by a fingernail if it's if all the heaven is finger of those fingernails? 
I mean, do you see the stupidity? If a finger nail. Madness. It's just a person. He is adding exaggeration after exaggeration in order to fool people. And you know, if you are a fool, you are a fool. What we can say? How do you not know that your body will transform in the day of judgment? Your body will not really transform in the day, transform in the day of judgment as a Muslim because you will be a human having sex. All what Muhammad he said, we just showed you, your prophet, he says you will be 90 miles. So this is the only transformation happening. It's your size, your look, your age. When you enter the heaven, according to your prophet, two angels will give you two drink. One of them will make you white, very white, and will change your age to be in the age of Jesus. And the other one will make you uh, tall, 90 mile tall. So you don't have really a transformation in heaven. Your body is a human body and you have penis and you are having sex, non-stop sex. What transformation? And you will eat even more. So you were a human in earth, you became an animal in heaven. So you need to fix what you say when you say transformation. And this is additional proof that Islam is a Hindu belief. You see, Muhammad he said that a murderer when he die. He will be a green bird. Correct? If you go right now and you check what the Hindus believe. The Hindus believe that if you have a bad karma, God will curse you or gods, they will curse you and make you a lower animal. If you have a good karma, which is at mean action, you will be transformed into a green bird if you are a murder for Allah. And here you ask yourself, how does God, he promised me a lot of females to have sex with, and then suddenly, and now the man is 90 mile, and the woman, she is 30 mile, and bingo, you are just a green bird. Read what Muhammad said. And if you don't want this hadith, we can show you the other hadith. So the Muslims in the heaven, they will be green birds. And those green birds will be under the ass of Allah. Depend in the hadith. There's a hadith says that they will be under the throne of Allah. Let us see the different hadith. The same, but this is you know, and this is Sahih. See, it says Sahih. We ask Abdullah ibn Masud about the verse: "Do not consider those who they have killed for this uh, uh, in, in uh, Allah bath uh, to be dead; nay, they are alive in the presence of their Lord." Chapter three, verse one sixty-nine. Uh, replied that he had asked about that to the Prophet. He said, their spirit are in the crops of a green birds, which have lamps suspended from the throne, which means the throne of Allah. Do you see it? 
So how, you know, you say to me, Ahmad, your body in the heaven will be transformed. Okay, here we go. Your body in the heaven transformed to be a chicken. You must be proud now, Ahmad. Finally, you become a chicken, green chicken. Hmm? You must be proud. If I am you, I will be proud. <clears throat> So now after you know serving Allah and dying for the sake of Allah and then finally Allah make me a green bird what more we want from this I mean come on this is beautiful finally we got what we dream to have we are going to be green birds beautiful you know? this is the, the dream of every one of us mm -hmm. let me see how if I join Al-Qaeda and I die for the sake of Allah, how I will end? I want to see the future. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I did not find exactly the same green birds, but uh, okay, well, that makes sense. So now we found how a Muslim will be in heaven, and this is his final destination. This is how Osama bin Laden, he look right now. Uh, Ahmad now he tried to fix it and now he made it even more stupid guys look what Ahmad he just said he says in the heaven you can have whatever you wish what if my wish to make you a donkey did your God Allah use his brain when he used that sentence saying whatever you wish I will tell you this story, Ahmad. There is a guy, he was digging with a bunch of um, employees, like workers, in the ground to build a house. They are poor. And they were, you know, like 11 of them. When they were digging, they found a lamp, like the one you see in Alibaba. They took the lamp and there is dust and dirt on it. So they clean it and they wipe the dirt. And then a genie came from the lamp. The genie, he said, make a wish each one of you is granted. Each one of you, you have one wish. The first one, he said, I want to be the most rich person in the world. Okay. The genie said, sure. You are the most rich person in the world now. In a second, the guy, he became the most rich person in the world. The second one, he said, he asked him, what do you want? He said, okay, me too. I want to be the most rich person in the world. The third person. The fourth person. The sixth person. All of them, one after one, they asked to be the most rich person in the world. And the genie is just doing their wish. One after one. And then he arrived to the last person and he asked him, what is your wish? And this is the guy number 11. Number 11, he scratched his head. He said, hmm, 
Man, look at them. They forgot who they used to be. I don't want that. I want my friends to be back as before. Make them all poor again. <laughs> so what, whatever you wish. If everyone can be granted his wish, that's mean all your wish is gone. I wish something, you wished against it, and now Allah have to grant us both our wish. You wish to have a woman, the woman she wished to get rid of you. How that will work? I want them all poor again. One wish to each one of you. Who is the stupid here? Whatever you wish. What if somebody wished to have boom boom with your prophet? What if somebody he like, you know, he's a homo, he like to F you. Allah, he said to him, whatever you wish, he can't say no to him. Whatever you wish. Stupidity, you know, this religion is just a stupid cult. You know, this is Muhammad, he say as he wish. And then he promised you as you wish in heaven. What about he, he grant his own wishes to himself? What a crazy cult, my friend. You know, imagine if we give this lamp to women. Man. What women will do to each other if they have their hand on this lamp? And the genie come from the ball. You know, what kind of religion believe in a genie anyway? A genie in the ball. Genie? Where is the word genie is coming from? Who is the first mythology or believe believed in genie? Go check it out. You will see Muhammad is a thief again. Um. Ahmad, you, what do you want us to talk about? Well, you want you to tell us about your wish in the heaven. <laughs> Whatever you wish. What if somebody, he wish all the Christians to enter heaven? Look what I would do to Allah. I would convert to Islam. I will enter the heaven of Allah and then Allah he says to me whatever you wish okay I want all Christians all Jews all Hindus all Buddhas to enter heaven what do you think about that all the plan of Allah is screwed and the first one I will invite is Selma Rushdi Allah, he said, whatever you wish. Did he lie or he keep his promise? Is Allah going to be a coward? He will back down or he will keep what he said? Whatever you wish. Hmm? Not only that, I will say everybody in hell bring them here. Why nobody desire? People, they desire crazy stuff. Nobody desire. Look at you, Muslims, what you desire. You desire having sex with the children. What do you mean nobody desire those things? You Muslim desire to have sex with the statues. Desire to have sex with Motor Miran. Have you ever heard of any religion teach 
that a man he can have sexual intercourse with watermelon if you can find me any let me know but I can prove it to you that you can have sex with watermelon Islam what about having sex with your daughter from adultery having sex with your sister from adultery with your mother from adultery so don't tell me nobody desire that in this world you will find people desire anything Prove what exactly? What do you want? I mentioned many things. You want the watermelon? Okay, let's see. You want me to prove the watermelon story? All right. Uh, Are you ready? Now you will say to me, I don't accept those things. I never had sex with watermelon and I like only watermelon to eat them. <laughs> right? Okay. Let us go and see. This is your Muslim website, and this is a blog, or let's say, you know, Shia versus Sunni, each of them, they are exposing each other. And I can show you the English one, the Arabic one, which is a Sunni, from the hand of the Sunni, but they are showing the reference anyway. For example, of the Sunni Murati, Salafi, Ulama, which means scholars, ruled that masturbation is halal, forget this one, comment. Second, Sunni morality legitimate to use dildo, female sex toy. Skip it. Hmm? Sunni morality scholars, they agree that you can have sex with the watermelon. We will not skip it. And this is from a book of Ibn al-Qayyim. The book of Ibn al-Qayyim. If a man makes a hole in a watermelon, I don't know if the, if the text is clear. Is the text clear? Or it's so small? Can you read this still? I can zoom part by part, but I have to move then. Um, let us see here. Actually, there is an option in my... Supposedly to zoom in. It's not active, maybe. Okay, if a man makes a hole in watermelon or a piece of da or a leather skin or a statue and has sex with it, are you there, Ahmad? Hmm. Then this is the same as we have as what we have said about other types of masturbation, i.e., it is that is halal in the same circumstances, circumstances given before such as being in a journey. So Ahmad, if you are on a journey, Ahmad is going on a journey, he have his own Jeep, he have open roof, and now he is horny. He look in the back of his Jeep, he find a watermelon. All right? He found a watermelon, he dig in it, you make a hole. <laughs> Let us continue. Or a piece of da. You cannot even give a Muslim a piece of da. I mean, if you give them a bread, they will have sex with it. Or leather skin. What the heck? Or a statues. Ahmad, don't go to the museum, man. Don't go to the museum. What do you mean? Where is the. Okay, I will show you the reference. Hold on. Here we go. I will show it to you in Arabic then.
I will give you even the page number, just wait. Where is the reference? Where is what? The reference. Let us see, hold on. This is the picture of the book. Not only I got you the reference, I got you the whole book. But there you all for it. Do you see the book? But there you all for it. Let's go down. Look how much they decorate this book, man. Because they, come on, there's watermelon, masturbation, if in watermelon, if in statues. So listen carefully. And then we go down the chapter of masturbation page number 602 this is the page number see it here it says if the women she have no husband and she got to be so horny our companion they said it is allowed for her to make a crumbage which is a kind of a dildo made from leather in the image or the shape of a penis and she insert it inside her or she can use qara which is like a cucumber you know so either you get a uh, like a, you make your own dildo or you use a cucumber and the women she can insert it and he's actually describing other kind of uh, uh, vegetables I do not know what the translation for them in English but they are like you know the shape the shape of a cucumber so a Muslim woman she can use all those things I'm giving you the page number now and then he continues saying وَإِنْ قَوَّرَ بَطْرِيخَ you know what it means let me open the mark marker so you know where I'm reading are you with me Ahmed you are the one who asked for it get what you asked for وَإِنْ قَوَّرَ بَطْرِيخَ أو عجينا أو أديما أو نجش أو أو نجشا من صنم. so if you make a hole in a watermelon or a da or uh, like an uh, uh, like a Barbie or a toy or even from a hole inside the statues. Hmm? and he can insert his penis in. And we mentioned that in previous details about what is how to do it. And then we said this is easier than doing masturbation by the hand. Are you there, Ahmed? You asked me for the reference, I even get you the page as image. The page number, the book name. So what you will say now? This is your religion, Ahmed. Face it. Oh, there is no way. There is no way, guys. That's it. Ahmed, he solved the problem by going in the mood of denial. That will solve it. Right? That will solve it. No way. We show him the book, we show him the reference, we show him the page, we show him it. Still no way. And here we go. This is a link I will give you because this is an image you can translate. This is the image. This is the, the book. This is the page. This is your Islamic website. And this is the link. Use Google Translation if you don't believe it. Right, go. I just gave you the book. Kindly share reference of Muhammad having uh, Pharaoh, uh, not Pharaoh. The wife, uh, uh, yeah, marry his wife in Jannah. All right. 
He's sick for sure. Let us see. Uh, let's see here. I'm just trying to find you a, a website we can consider it as a trustworthy so the Muslim will not say to you um, this is not a true all right this is the official uh, website of uh, Ibn Baz which is the highest ever scholar in Saudi Arabia. Uh, Muhammad, he said to Aisha, please send my greeting. Aisha, sorry, to uh, Khadi, uh, uh, Aisha, she's reporting what Muhammad said to his wife, Khadija, when she was uh, uh, dying. Uh, here in the story here, it says this is for Aisha, but I what I, what I know, this is something he said to his wife Khadija, and this guy is Sheikh is stupid. So, uh, or Muhammad is being stupid when he reported again. So when Khadija was dying, Muhammad he said to her, "Say, send my greeting to my wives in heaven. To my wives, sorry, he did not say heaven. In the other side. His wife, she said to him, did you marry Others of over me because Khadija, Muhammad, he did not marry any women during the time he was married to her. So she was shocked. She said, What? Did he marry more women? He said to her, uh, No, but I will marry after the end of this life from Maryam, the virgin, and from the wife of the Pharaoh. And we can, uh, uh, you know, uh, and this is the question. So the question is saying that. However, the, th the true story is that Muhammad, uh, he will marry from Maryam, and he mentioned that story to Khadija, not as it says here in the page. Let me give you more, uh, instead of this page, uh, Let us see. Um, <clears throat> You know, for me, I have tons of reference, but I want to show you only what is. The Muslims cannot play games with it. Okay. Let us see this one. Reported from Abu Huraira. 
the following story. Let us see. Let us see where 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 where. Uh, I mean, this is a very long, long, long hadith. Uh, where where where? Okay, here we go. So here it says here. I will post the link for you. So Allah He promised Muhammad from the women who they are not virgin no more. Asiya bin to Muzahim, Muhammad he claimed that Asiya is the name of the wife of the Pharaoh, which is proven again that this is false. For the wife of the Pharaoh, Ramses II, have nothing to do with this name, and she is not the daughter of an Arab guy. The wife of the Pharaoh and the sister of Noah, and from the virgins is Mary, the daughter of Amran, and the sister of Moses. Let us use Google Translation. It is in red, so easy to find it. Translate. You see it? The, the translation here says firstborn is wrong. It's first version. So that Allah, he promised Muhammad. So he was promised to him from, uh, uh, from the women who they are not virgins. Asiyah, the daughter of Muzahim, the wife of the Pharaoh, and the sister of Noah, and from the virgin women, the virgin one, Mary, the daughter of Amron, and the sister of Moses. So this hadith here actually confirmed that Mary, she is the sister of Moses too. Let me pause the link for you. I will use, go, uh, I will use a short, uh, short link because Google will not accept such a long link to post. Let us do this. Uh, let me know, guys, if the link is working. I'm posting it now. Is it working? You are able to open it and see the same web page I, I showed you on the screen. Are we good? Did not work? Okay, let me find a different website then. I, I mean, uh, different short in. Look like this one is fake. Uh, link shorten. I hope it's not like a scam. Take your wrong place. Be careful when you open links. Okay, let's see this one here. Okay, let us see this one. I think this one will work because I tried it before. What about now? Is it working? Okay, so you can use the same method, you know, open Google translation, click at Google, and you will find the red in, the, the red line, which will make it very easy for you uh, to read the reference because it's in red. And it says there, the reference, at tabarani 360. al muajam Al-Awsat. You see here, it says even the reference, you know. al muajam Al-Awsat, 313. And here they are telling you it's in the authority of who and the authority of not. And there's more actually, not only this one. <coughs> uh, we are just showing one 
حديث اوف ماني حديث Let us see here. Yeah, I mean, one is enough. But this is telling you how sick this man is, to the point even women who they are exist thousands of years before him, he want to have them in his bed. He, you know, he worship himself. He is, uh, he is mentally ill. I mean, why, why God he promised you even Mary? I mean, what is that? And why the wife of the Pharaoh? What you have to do with her? And why the sister of uh, uh, Mary, the sister of Aaron? Uh, why the sister of Noah? I mean, the guy who went back all the way to Noah. What? Who is the sister of Noah? He want to sleep with? Madness. The sister of Noah. All right, guys, I'm uh, getting tired from sitting for long. I hope I have a good time. Uh, feel free to download my video. As you know, I don't keep them for long. And uh, feel free to share them with your friends. Uh, as you see, Islam really is, is, a, is, a, is a mockery. Literally, Islam is a mockery. It's a mockery for mankind. It's a mockery for anyone who have a brain. It's very sexual. It's very violent. It's very uh, uh, idiotic. Uh, it's it, it teach you how to be addicted to stupidity uh, you know it's all over I mean there's none one thing in this religion is not not stupid and you see how a huge difference between what Jesus say and what this filthy man he say I mean have you ever heard of a prophet before Muhammad he claimed that the God will make him F every woman, even those who he owes to be exist long before him. Why? What is what the heck with that? This guy is the same as Hitler. He think he is the greatest, and everyone have to sleep with him. He's a maniac. Pervert. Actually, I think even the word pervert can describe how filthy and how low he is. So I hope today we did share some good information with you. And I hope you guys are uh, uh, taking notes and you learned. And until we see you maybe tomorrow, God is willing. Until then. I want to say thank you. God bless you. And uh, we pray to the Lord. Uh, let us pray for this uh, man who the Muslim just tried to kill him today. That he will go back to his family and he will be healthy. And uh, the, the, the Muslim's dream to kill those who speak about Muhammad will not work. But even if it work, this guy, he did a great job exposing the faith of Muhammad. Even though, by the way, his book, Satanic Verses, was not a big deal, but the Muslims, they made him so famous, thanks to the Muslims. So I am, actually, I'm hoping that the Muslim one day, they will go buy millions against me. That would be nice. That would be fun. Until now, it's not happening. I'm not lucky like him. The guy, he went to bed, he woke up in the morning, he found Al Khomeini making a fatwa against him and millions of Iranian speaking against him. I think because he was originally a Muslim from Iran, I think. I think he's Iranian, right? That's why he made them so upset in Iran. So uh, we pray for him. We pray for his family, uh, even though he's not a Christian, but doesn't matter, you know, our Lord. Um, he asked us to pray for everybody and uh, we love everybody, doesn't matter who. And because of that, we pray for this man and his family to overcome the bad time and he go back healthy to his family and he write more books about the stupid Muhammad. And I will be happy actually one day if you need my help to get more info for his books, we can make it way better for him. 
because obviously still he know nothing about the garbage of Muhammad. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we see you soon again. Christ is Lord. And Muhammad is a scam. And don't think ever, Muhammad, and you can intimidate us. And your prophet will be always exposed. The more you do action of violence, the more we will have reaction. And our reaction would not make you happy. Will wipe the face of your filthy prophet in the ground. Thank you. God bless you. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him.
Any proud Muhammadan?